Hey everybody, this is Big Zell 20 once again here you guys out with an all new video. Now, first thing I want to talk about is the Bad Girls Club, and I am so upset because as I told you, I don't get oxygen um, in my area anymore. I don't get it. Um, I, I literally have to order the channel, and I think that I don't want to do that because, first of all, I'm not a cheap person because I do buy stuff. My thing is this: I don't, I'm not, I don't, like, I'm not the type of person that watches TV. That watches TV like that. I don't watch TV all the time. I don't, you know, I'm either at work or I'm out. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I might catch a couple of shows so I can recap it for everybody. But Bad Girls Club is one of my favorite shows. But I'm not going to pay to get a channel just to watch one show that comes on every couple months. You know what I'm saying? That's just not how it's going to roll. I don't get it. So I've been look so the re the way I watched season five is that I was online and I was watching season five on um, Oxygen.com. They post full episodes and that's how I was able to watch season five and some of season four. However, for some reason Oxygen is not posting the season six episodes, the full episodes online. They'll post clips. They're not posting the episodes, which I don't, under, I don't fucking understand. I'm not being able to watch the show, which is the reason why I can't give recaps. I know everybody's been emailing me saying, well, Big Zone, where are your recaps? Everybody else is doing recaps. You know, and I hate to let you guys down, but I can't recap the show if I don't get a full intake, a full episode. I can't give you a full intake of the show. Um, if anybody knows where they're posting the full episodes at online, please let me know in the comment section. Um, I would love, I would love, love, love to recap it. As a matter of fact, if you tell me where they're posting the episodes, I'll do it retroactively. I'll start our way at um, episode one, even if we're on episode five at the time. I'll start our way at episode one and tell you what I think. Because I can already tell you from the clips that I've seen, I don't really like that, um, that man-looking bitch Nikki. She gets on my fucking nerves. Sorry. How old are we? And who was that other girl? That other girl with the long, long curly hair who acts like um, she's from Compton. The white girl that acts like she's from Compton. What, Jessica? Girl, boom, bye. Anyway, so yes, I would like, so you know, just let me know if you know when they're posting the full episodes. Um, I'm going to keep checking Oxygen.com every day to see if they posted it. Um, you know, I don't know what's going on, why they're not doing it, why they're not posting new of um, the season 6 on the actual fucking website, but whatever. Um, but like I said, I would love to recap it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not able, like I said, I, I can't watch the episodes. I'm not being able to watch it. Um, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But anyway, let me know, you guys, because like I said, I really am missing out. I heard everybody's telling me this is such an amazing season, and I really want to see it, but... I just don't know how I'm going to. Um, I want to talk about... The other thing I want to talk about is fucking Team Mom. Now, I don't watch this show. I don't watch 16 and Pregnant. I don't watch Team Mom because when I was in high school, and even walking out and looking on the streets now, um, I see this reality show in real life. There are real girls walking around who are 16, 15, 14 and pregnant, 13 and pregnant, you know, there are real girls walking around who do have babies, so why the hell, why the fuck would I watch a show about five white girls, and I don't mean to use the word white, I don't mean to use it, but, cause, but, but we all know that MTV is not culturally different, um, MTV do be discriminating, and their traumas with having babies. Bitch, first of all, the the main reason why I'm talking, I'm not even talking about, the, I'm not even going to recap any of these hoes, I, I don't even remember all the hoes' names, I don't, even, I don't remember their babies, they got some cute babies though, I'll give you the head, they do, and I felt bad about the one with the, um, that had the twins, and the one girl's, the one, um, twins leg is messed up, I was like, um, but that's beside the point, I need to talk about that bitch Janelle, or Jeanette, or whatever the fuck her name is. Oh, I'll pause just one second before I go out this I gotta write out this hole. Hold on one second. I'll check something real quick. Okay, so Janelle. 
Janelle is the one who cussed out her mother like it was a fucking stranger in the street. The one who put her hands on her mother and pushed her. The one who disrespects her mother. Girl, I don't get it. If I was her mother or her parent, it couldn't have been me. It could not have been me. Not on a perfect day. Not on a good day. Not on the absolute, just, just the, one of the absolute most perfect days of my life. Could it have been me? Could I have let my 16-year-old or 17-year-old child, or how other fucking years old you are, you can be 30 years old, could I have let them stand there and cuss me? Cuss me like a motherfucking sailor. Like, I'm like some dude that, that, that they just met. Just sit there and cuss me like that. And they, they gonna walk away alive. And I do mean alive. Because the bitch would have been dead. I slapped that neck so damn quick. I would have grabbed her ass so quick that that whiplash would cause her damn brain damage. Wow! That's how I would have moved. Don't fuck with me, bitch. I gave you life, bitch. I can take that shit away. Just as quick. Don't fuck with me. You sitting up here, man. See, that, that brings me into a whole other subject about these teenagers who have children who... And don't get me wrong. There are a lot of teenagers who do have children who do right. Who do right. Obviously, there's problems. Obviously, there's problems adjusting, becoming a... Uh, being, still being a baby and having a baby. But that's your fucking fault. You're the one who gassed up your legs. You're the one um, who, who had... You know, who let the person bust up inside you. And, I, and I'm not being sexist. Because I know there's a lot of YouTubers that always calls me out for being sexist, and that's not me. I'm not sexist. I am simply calling out the fact that women, women, teenage girls, whatever, the man, yes, it does take two to tango. Yes, it was a man and a woman who made a baby. But the baby will always be linked to his mother. Legally, mentally, emotionally, always linked to his mother. So, I'm not saying that's okay for dudes to walk away, because as you, as you know, go, you know, refer back to my dad be dad video, my baby daddy drama, I can't stand dads who don't help take care of the baby, but if the dad does leave, the responsibility is always going to be on the mother, and it sucks, but you have to step up and do that shit, you knew the fucking consequences when you decided to open up your fucking legs. So why the fuck are you mad at the world, let alone your fucking mother, who was helping you raise this child, who was giving you food, who was giving you water, shelter, money, and all this shit to help you with your motherfucking baby? And you want to sit there and cuss her out? You want to sit there and get mad at her? Bitch! Get mad because you can't go hang out with your friends. Bitch, well, no, you can't. You really can't. Let that be my child, bitch. You having, uh, you having a fucking baby? Okay, well, um... Honey, prom? No. Sorry. You know, um, you know, the club, you can go out to the club no more. You can't go to parties no more. You know, you can hang out, you know, shit. And if you do go, guess who's gonna be right there on your fucking um, hip? Hey, little Susie. Hey, little Jaquez. He's gonna be right there on your motherfucking hip because the grandpa is not taking care of the baby while you go out there and have your own way. Because grandpa did not lift his legs up in the air and get him off man. Grandpa did not lay on his back. Grandpa did not sneak homeboy into the damn house with thinking that grandpa didn't even fucking know it. And, you know, was fucking. That was you. You did that shit. And I just, like I said, like I said, I'm just using you know, that Teen Mom episode as a as a precursor to just just me speaking out on teen, teen, teenagers who have children who have, you know, who just have these nasty-ass fucking attitudes, period. It's fucking ridiculous. You have no right to be mad at anybody but yourself because you fucked up your plan. And I'm not going to say fucked up your life because you could turn this situation into a positive if you know what the fuck to do. Stay in school get your diploma, go to college. You can do all that. I've seen teenage mothers do it with the help of their parents. But there is also responsibility that comes in with that. Why do you do you feel that because I'm a, you know, because I'm a teenager, I don't have to, I don't have to be responsible for this baby. I mean, I can come in and call myself my mother. I mean, I can call, I can call myself his mom, but I don't have to take on all the mom duties. No, bitch, yes, you do. Every doctor's visit, every, bitch, girl. 
Your happiness comes in second place to that child once you once it's born. Period. Point blank slash comma period. Mm-mm. Mm, mm. Cuss out that motherfucking mother. Are you fucking kidding me? And that's just that shit that's just why disrespectful teenagers, period, piss me the fuck off. Piss me off. Yes, I've had arguments with my mother. I have. I've had doozies with my mother. We've had blow ups. Me and my mother are very close. I love my mother to death. And that's one of the problems. We you know, because we're so close, sometimes we clash, we butt heads. But I have never, ever cussed her out or talked to her in a way that was so vulgar on the way I would cuss out one of my friends and they pissed me off. Cause I remember that if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to go out and club. I wouldn't be able, and even though I have my own now, and I pay for my own shit, uh, I wouldn't have any of that if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't be fucking alive. And that humbles me as a child. For you to sit there and be like, fuck you, bitch, shut the fuck up, you stupid fucking bitch, and blah, blah, blah. I can't stand how motherfucking ass, and bitch, blah, 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 and bitch this, and bitch that. Girl. Mm. You don't know. You just don't know, bitch. You would have. I wish you would have been raised in my motherfucking family. Talk to your mothers like that, bitch. Please. Bold ass. We got some bold ass motherfucking children these days. We really do. Get mad at your mama because she don't want to watch your baby while you go out and do your own way. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. And that's for fathers too. I, I have a friend who has a, a, a daughter. And he'll be out with us, and he'll be like, oh, um, I got my daughter this weekend. Really? You Do you have your daughter, or does your mother have your daughter? Because it seems to me that you're out with us. Why are you here and your daughter's not here? Or why are you he- why are you here when you should be at home taking care of your daughter? So don't sit here and fucking say, I have my daughter this weekend, and you out hanging out with the homeboys, and your daughter's at home with your mother, and your mother's watching them. Stupid bitch. Stupid ass. Oh, oof. Girl, I hate it. I can't stand that shit. It pisses me the fuck off. Um, what else I want to talk about? That's pretty much it. I just don't, you know, I had to make a video about just this disrespectful ass bitch who just disrespected her mother so horribly, and it's just, ugh. Uh, it made me want to jump. I just wanted to jump to that TV and beat her ass. Oh, oh, sweetheart, I, you don't even know, you don't even know. Let my child disrespect me like that. Let her say, let me come to her and be like, um, sweetheart, you don't do shit around the house. That's another thing, too. I'm putting up with your, your, your parents are putting up with your ass. They're taking you, they took you in, keeping you there. And, and, and helping you, doing all this shit for you, and you have a nerve to bad talk them. They feed you, clothe you, put food on your, put food on your damn stomach, make sure that you're, um, that you're healthy, take you to the doctor when you're sick, make sure you go to all your practices, make sure you go to all your dances, buy you clothes. When you want something new, they make sure you get it, and you have the nerve to cut them out. Maybe I'm too old school. And maybe at the age of 22 years old, I am too old school. But I do not like children who disrespect their parents. Period. Let my motherfucking son or daughter talk to me like that when I tell them to do something. They be like, shut the fuck up, dad. I'm like, bitch! 